Hey everyone, Leon X here, and welcome to a new game. Uh, today we're going to be playing Vernon's Legacy. And from what I've heard, this game is a, like, well, kind of like a horror puzzle type game. Um, it's uh, actually pretty short, but uh, from what I've heard, it, it just takes no more than an hour and a half or two hours maybe depending on how fast I can uh, solve the puzzles and all things like that I'm not sure if I will encounter any enemies but from what they said it's more like a uh, uh, a puzzle psychological horror or something like that but anyway let's get on with it so today we're gonna try a new game How long has it been? It was the time before the war. It was a time of innocence. Before the cloud of death spread over Europe. At the time, I could not imagine that I would never see Uncle Vernon again. Fifty-six years old, to die so suddenly? I'm at a loss. And the house, it is not the same. The walls appear darker and cracked. The garden is neglected, quite different now from how I knew it. Everything is different, so very different. Here we are. Grab the letter. Grab the letter on the table. But before that, let's. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, uh. I was gonna say let's admire the graphics. I mean, this looks really, really good. Looks nice. Okay, so. Okay. Sun departure. Robert. It would have been my great pleasure to welcome you, personally. It must have been six years since your last visit to Duncanhof. Dunk the war has left its mark on the house and nothing has been the same since. I'm afraid I cannot welcome you in person today, given the unfortunate circumstances of late. Robert, please accept my sincerest condolences for your loss. At the same time, I consider it my duty to inform you that your uncle had changed had changed considerably in the last few months leading up to his death. He was no longer the man you once knew. The doctor determined your uncle's time of death as 1.30 a.m. March 3, 1920. The cause of death was found to be a cardiac arrest. Madeline and I hereby wish to terminate our employment with your family and shall leave the house forthwith. She will likely move to Paris to be with her sister while I shall seek new pastures and pastures in Berlin. You will find the keys to the private rooms on the kitchen table. It is time for us to leave. Our taxi is waiting for us at the gate. Your most humble servant, uh, Alloy? <laughs> is that how you say it? Uh, strip matter? <laughs> Alloy. 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 Strip matter. Uh, I'm not sure if this is uh, in German. But let's check it out. Find the kitchen. But yeah, the game looks really, really good. Just look at all these design. The Unreal, the Unreal Engine, man. So we gotta find the kitchen. Uh, it's quite dark. Quite, quite dark. I wonder if we can uh brain up. No, we cannot. Oh wow, okay, so that's the best we can do. Okay, so, uh, let's find the kitchen. Door's locked. Door's locked. Oh, that's. Kitchen has to be downstairs. Like somewhere right here or something like that. 
There's a broken key in the lock. Is there? Okay, whatever. Locked. Oh. What? Oh. Uh. 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 Anything here? Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, kitchen? Kitchen? No. Oh, what is that? What is that? What is... A screwdriver. I could really use that. Why would I need a screwdriver? Ugh. Is there anything here? Pictures? No? That's it, so I found a screwdriver, which is cool. What can I do with the screwdriver? Oh, wait a minute. There is a broken key in the lock. Screwdriver? Of course! Oh, look at that. Okay, we're making progress. And we open the door. Then let's look. Oh, there's a letter. A handyman is needed. Dear Carl, I am writing to you today because I could use a handyman around the house. As you know, I worked at the manor of Master Ver Vernon. The house is simply too large for me to do all the work uh, myself, and some things are best left to an expert. We have a boiler in the basement, a modern device used for water heating and stem generation. Steam generation. Generate. Generation? Steam generation? Okay. I suspect it is leaking on the bottom. I need you to have a look at it. You know, Master Vernon is not stingy when it comes to payment. Maybe we can meet in uh, Mets next Friday and discuss the details. I have some shopping to do in town, anyhow. Mostly for our cook, Madeline. She keeps writing me these long shopping lists. I believe she does not even need half the things on the list. Yes, she makes a fuss every time I forget to bring something. Best regards, Aloy. Aloy. <laughs> uh, please let me know if uh, anybody knows how to pronounce that. Sorry. Anything here? Uh, a monster, maybe? Nope, nope. Everything is... Can I, nope, I can't even open that. I can't open that. The bed. The dog is missing. Derek Carl, you did the right thing by moving to the capital to be with your family. I do not know which is worse, the war or Master Vernon's behavior. There is a lot of fighting happening in our vicinity and he is always digging in the old vaults for post pot shards or God knows what. There are far graver issues to worry about if you ask me. I do not know if our lives are safe here. What if the front line expands and the house is overrun? I do not even know why I am writing you. I will not be able to go into town and mail this letter anytime soon. Best regards, Ahua. <laughs> P.S. My dog, Haras, Haras has been missing for three days. This is not the first time he, was, he has wandered off. But he has never been away this long. I just hope that nothing bad has befallen him. Something happened to him. No doubt. Books. Dang. Nope. Oh. A combination code. Okay. Two, three, four. Nope. Okay, so I need to find the combo code. Which I do not know yet. Okay, so. Oh, you. Oh, shoot. I forgot about this door. Oh. The kitchen! The, here's the kitchen! Holy shit. Okay. So, um, yeah. Oh, letter. My dear Robert, believe me, I would have been uh, delighted to see you again and embrace you in my arms. You must have been a real man by now. It has been a very long time indeed. And please forgive me, I have taken away the keys. What was Aloha thinking to give you the keys to the house? After all, he has witnessed. 
You cannot stay here. Please listen to me. You must leave at once. This house is not what it used to be. Back then, it was very different. My dear Robert, please listen to me. For the love of God, do not linger here. Sincerely yours, Madeline Dupont. <laughs> Dupont. Okay. Whoa! Where did you fell through? Can I open this? Nope. I cannot. Let's look around. Nope, nothing. I can't even open that. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, another letter. Dear Marie, I am so happy to hear that you were hired at the main post office in Paris. Hundreds must have applied for the position with uh, Monsieur Monoru. I'm overjoyed. Write, write to me soon. Write to me soon how you like your new workplace and whether you have already found a room. If you are still looking for an, uh, for an abod, please you can check with Monsieur Bonnet. He is a friend of Master Vernon. He lives in the Rue de, de Simurad? Simurad. And will certainly be able to help you out. Sorry, I cannot pronounce that. I received a letter from our parents yesterday. They are already looking for helping hands for the al almond crop. I will be happy to spend a few days right there right now. Regrettably, I am very busy at, a, at the moment. Robert is arriving tomorrow. You know, the nephew of our employer. He has always been part of he always spends part of the summer holidays at Duncanhof. Knowing him, he will probably turn the whole house upside down. Last year, he even set Master Vernon's laboratory on fire, nearly reducing the house to ashes. His uncle seems thrilled that the boy dabbles in science, but where is, but where is the science in that? The whole laboratory was in flames, and Master Vernon lets him off without even a slap on the wrist, just like that. My dear Marie, I end for today and send you lots of hugs. Write me soon and tell me what is happening in Paris. Your loving sister, Madeline. P.S. Ahua forgot to bring stamps from Metz. I even, wrote, I even wrote him a special reminder. Sometimes I think he forgets to buy things from me on purpose, yet he never seems to forget his pipe tobacco. Hence, this letter will reach you with some delay. Okay. Let's get on with it. Yeah, open it. Jeez, that was like so hard to highlight. Anything? What do I have to ha check the whole thing? So I don't know. I don't know if there's anything in here besides the letters. Well, I'm just gonna look at every cabinet. So sorry if I bore you, but you know. These are one of those type of games where you gotta look everywhere to see if you don't miss anything. So, because you know it's very, very crucial. Sometimes the notes are cru uh, the notes are crucial. Sometimes it's just a backstory. You know, you may never know. It might hold uh, the key code. There is nothing here. So what's the point? There's like nothing. Not even salt. Not even meat. Where is the fridge anyway? This is the freaking kitchen. And, oh, key, key. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, see, I almost missed that. I could have missed that if I didn't check everything. So I found a key, but no code. Okay, so is that it? Okay, so I did find a key. Must be this door. So push I? Yes. So a simple key. Ah, see? So we're getting somewhere. We're room to room down here. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna lock myself. Anything, anything. Oh. Um, let's see. Dear Marie, I have not left the house in probably a year. Even Aloha and Master Vernon visit the city only rarely. It is simply too dangerous. Thank God we have enough supplies in the house and the vegetable patch in the garden. 
When I lie in bed at night, I can hear the thunder of canyons in the distance. The fighting and uh, death is happening right now on our doorstep. I get goosebumps when I think about it. Master Vernon is trying his best to ease the workload for Aloha and me, for which I am most grateful to him. I will not abandon Ma Master Vernon, however, however difficult the present uh, situation may be. Warm hugs, Madeline. That's that. Combo code? No combo code? Combo code? Dear Marie, it is hard to believe they closed the post office in Paris, but it is probably for the better, and once the dust settles, I'm confident you can start working there again. I am quite sure that the situation will calm down soon. Everyone here says so. Right now, I'm just happy to know that you are safe in Marcel. Have you paid a visit to our parents on the weekend? Sadly, I will not be able to visit mother and father in November. As planned, as you know, the border crossings are temporarily closed. I will just wait a few weeks before I take a few days off. Surely, everything will go back to normal and the borders will be reopened soon. I look forward. Uh, excuse me. I look forward to seeing, uh, to seeing you all all again. Warm hugs, Madeline. Aloha failed to buy stamps again, but this time he was not at fault. The road to Metz is only open to military transport at this time. Besides today is his birthday, I should try to say something nice to him instead. Okay, so let's try that again. No code. No code. Calendar. No code. So how do I? So okay. So, did I miss something in here? Nope. I hope <laughs> there better not be a freaking note in here that I missed. Really. Nope. Close the door. We're here. Oh, oh. I'm gonna make this whole mess. <clears throat> Excuse me for a second. Oh, God. Okay. So, what is the combo code? Maybe I might have missed something here. What? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I am stuck. You know, effort. Oh, a fuse is missing. <coughs> over here notes no notes nope nothing nothing what's over here whoa oh, I cannot see anything for the very life of me and there's like a wall there but that's freaky the sound is just so freaky okay I am missing something but let's just go upstairs. What the heck? Too dark. I must get the lights working again. Are you freaking serious? Oh, jeez. Okay, so I cannot come up here at all. Where do I go? Okay, so that freaking what the heck? What the heck? I'm stuck. I am stuck. What the hell? Wow, big bug glitch. 
Oh! Look, I'm stuck! Can you believe this shit? <laughs> oh my god! Ah! Oh. I'm stuck! I'm stuck. Wow. I never thought I'd... I'm stuck. Excuse me for a second. Wow, that was just insane. I was stuck. All because of... Can I pick those up and throw them away? Okay, so... Oh, uh, I don't know. This is cold. There is no freaking cold! At least hit me something. Okay, maybe... There's like a hidden number here. Or something that I didn't see. But we gotta really, really, really look for it. Close that damn door. Other bullshit. I'm like stuck already. Roma. Whatever, whatever. I hope I won't get stuck. Come on. What the hell did I miss? Oh boy, this might take a while. Calendar. Calendar. A lot. November 3rd. Um... Oh, there's nothing. Oh, shit. Wow, I'm like super duper stuck. What do I do, my loveling? Where, where do I go? I wanna know. I wanna know. Oh, shit. Was there. Paintings? There's nothing on the paintings. Nothing here. Creepy children. Whoa, 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 what is that? Get away, get away. 479? Paris? Was that it? 479? Four, where, where, uh, 479, 479, please let it be 479. 4... 7... 9? No, it's not it! Then what is that? Oh. Oh. I swear. Oh, God. Okay, well. Uh, we're, we're, we have to stop right here. <laughs> uh, I don't want it to drag any, any long. So, okay, so, um, yeah, we're totally stuck. So we gotta try to find the, the combination cold here. So that I have no clue. I, I'm still gonna try to look for it. 
But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Uh, please remember to subscribe, comment, share, and like the video, and check out my other videos. And I'll see you guys next time on another Vernon's Legacy gameplay. Have a good day, everyone.